Hello guys, welcome in this tutorial where you can learn how to slow down time in SVR, how to do slow motion and how to destroy stuff because slow motion just looks best when we are destroying stuff. X-Men approved. Let me show you how it will look like. You can simply press the trigger button on left controller and it will slow down time, which you can really see now. But if I hit something, you can see how slowly it all goes. Let's get to it. I'm using just basic VR template from Unreal Engine preset and with few modifications that I have done in the other tutorials. First thing we need to set up is to go to edit and project setting and we need to add input because we need some button that will actually start that uh, slow motion. Here in engine input we will add another action mapping and because I'm using Oculus, you know what, first let's name it and name for it will be slow motion and Add here your setting which you need. For example, in my case, it will be Oculus Touch Trigger Cap button could be used, but I am going to use Oculus. Oh, come on. Oculus Touch Trigger. Oculus Touch Left Trigger button, which means that I will be using this button to start and enable slow motion. Okay, you can set it up to whatever you want. Let's say that I want to use val in the valve or index, which means valve index. I don't know why I said or, and use it for trigger as well on left controller. Just simply set it here. And you may need to research it on the internet which buttons do what, but that's pretty simple. The next thing is to actually set it up. So let's go to virtual reality B E blueprints, and here we should have motion control upon. That's basically your pawn that you are controlling with camera and everything. There is a lot of complicated code which you can ignore for now. And let's just let's zoom somewhere here and create new one. Right click and we need to create that new event. And that will be event slow motion. So to set it up we need to take from this press which means once you press this trigger button we will set global time dilatation and you can set it to zero, which means it uh, time won't fly at all. But that's not necessarily what I want, because I want some cool slow motion quicksilver stuff. So I will set it to 0 0.1. And once you release it, let's set it back to 1. So when you will be holding this trigger, time should be slow. And when you let it go, it should be on regular speed. Let's test it out. So compile and go into VR. That was pretty simple and quick, right? But it was only one blueprint, what do you expect? Anyway, let's try to make it a little bit more complicated because we can do something with it. For example, let's add here a flip-flop. Let's say that you don't want to uh, let, let the time run on release. Let's say that you want it uh, every time you press the button, it will either flip to slow down time or let it go normally. For that, we will simply use flip-flop and add it in. And now what it will do is once you press it once it will slow down time and if you will press it again it will put it back here. Let's set it to 0 0.1 so it's now really slowed down 10 times less than it was before and ha about 100 times less than it's normally. You can see that it seems to work quite nice. And now if I let it go it, nothing will happen but if I just touch it and press it then it will again run normally. But that's not everything, of course, but it wouldn't be me if it was everything. Now when we can do everything, everything in slow motion, let's actually break some stuff and watch them be broken. Because we are all kind of broken. That more, that sounds, I don't know, what am I? Anyway, to break something, we will need to go to plugins right here and uh, click in built in. And let's look and let's write here Apex and we should have Apex destruction. If you haven't used it yet, it will probably disable it, you will have to enable it, restart the data, blah blah blah. I have it enabled, so let's get back to work. And for that we need some kind of mesh. So if you are using only, you know what, let's actually do a little trick. Simply take this sphere, put it here, right click on it and conver convert sphere to static mesh. Let's put it in geometry, where there will be a lot of different meshes I could have used, but I wanted to show you this trick. Let's name it, uh, doo -doo -doo, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, ah, you can't really use spacebar, okay, so let's just use 
I don't know without any spaces. And it's right here. If different matches I could have used, not important. You can see the thing is that it doesn't have any collisions frames. So we can quickly fix that. Uh, there, let's look at collisions, simple collisions. We can see that it doesn't have anything. And because it's sphere, we can simply click on collisions and add here sphere simplified collisions. And you can see that it has been created somewhere here. Yep, it's right here. Let's look collision simple and complex is here as well, I suppose. Yes, it is. Okay. So now it should work. So you can see that. Okay, what's, what's the problem? Oh, it should work by now. I'm not. Yeah, it works now. It just didn't show the collision prints. It needed a while to update it. So now, when you have a static mesh, what you can do is to click on right here and you have a new column called create destructible mesh. So let's click on it and give it a while. It will compile all the shaders. Okay, now it is done. It looks kind of weird, but let's ignore that. So what we can do is to fracture mesh. What it will basically do is to create based on a Voronoi map, I believe, different fractures of it once we will impact it in any way. So for that we can click on fracture mesh. Okay, that was longer than I expected. But that's not the important part. If you now look at explode amount, you can move it and look what it did. Created a lot of different chunks from it. Which is just what we want. Okay, but you know what? I actually think we can do much more chunks than that. So let's uh, go here in destruction set uh, in destructible settings. First thing you need to do is to enable impact damage. What it means is that once you hit it with something, it will destroy it itself. You can play with damage threshold and damage spread, blah blah blah, and do uh, any funny thing you just want. So what we will do with that is. Uh, and hit, uh, go here in Voronoi setting and add this cell side count. Now it creates 25 of them and because I like to destroy stuff to a lot of different pieces, I just like to destroy anything. Let's put it to 50. And for that we need to fracture mesh again. Okay. You can see that it works just fine. Okay, now we can delete this sphere and you can see that it created a new destructible mesh right here in the folder. So let's put it here and if we just simulate it, it won't do anything, but it works. And let's see if we can destroy it just with simulation. I actually don't know that. Oh yes, we can. Now you can see what it does. So now let's see what we can do with slow motion and VR. You know what, breaking stuff is pretty fun, so I have added a lot of them. So let's see what we can do with that. Okay, let's click on play and destroy something. Okay, time to go kind of rampage. So first of all, let's take this sword. Okay, to the right hand. And first of all, let's build hate something to see how it all looks. That looks kind of cool, but what would we be without slow motion, right? So let's go right here and press trigger button, which will trigger trigger button, you know. Enable slow motion and let's just start hitting stuff out. Holy crap, this looks incredible. Like, honestly, guys, <laughs> I don't know why I'm even showing this to you because this looks really awesome in VR. I think that I shouldn't show it to you and just make a game about it myself because now you will be just, you will just steal my idea. <laughs> I am just joking, of course. I want you to make this game because I have my own projects to do and I'm better anyway. <laughs> anyway, not important part. If you really do make something really cool about that, join the Discord. I want to see what you did. And one important thing, like button, of course. So that's about it. So fancy out. That hand look actually really cool. Now for fancy out. I wanted to have that hand here. Like a dead body, you know. So yeah.